it's Jenny from Jenny Stitches and welcome back to my channel today. Thank you for tuning in. Um, it is a Thursday afternoon, so I'm a little bit um, ahead of schedule compared to the last couple of weeks today with this video. Um, in a bid not to be rushing on a Friday morning and hopefully to get this out to you a little bit sooner. Um, I've got my coffee today as is usual and I'm feeling a bit brighter than last week now. Thank you very much for your well wishes. Um, so, Sewing so Bee last night, episode three, which was Gents Classics, I believe they called it. Gents Classics, yeah. So I thought at the outset that this was going to be um, more sort of shirts and maybe waistcoats, that kind of thing. So yeah, it was, there was some quite unusual sort of design choices this week and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So let's get into it. The first challenge was the pattern challenge and that was to make a Baker Boy style hat. I think in the US they call it a newsboy hat. Um, but very peaky blinders. Um, I remember maybe in about 2010 these were really in fashion for women as well. I certainly had one. I could probably find you a horrendous photograph of me wearing one. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so they're one of those things that's a perennial style. They come back in, come back out. I've just noticed this massive scratch on my arm. Don't worry, um, I've just been in the garden and got attacked by a rose, so it's all good. So, um, with the Baker Boy hats, um, I don't really have many options for you, but I did find one pattern which may work in my pattern book and that is Simplicity 8812 and you can see here, although it's on a lady, I don't suppose it matters, you can do it for a man, a, a hat is pretty unisex isn't it? Um, and that's like your Baker Boy style cap there. So I couldn't not put a pattern suggestion in so there it is. I really enjoyed watching them do that and making the centre line up. It reminded me of when I made a Christmas tree skirt and also, if you've made the closet car poof and you've got to line the center up and put a cover button in the middle, um, that's a similar sort of situation. Um, it's probably just worth mentioning that we've got little prim cover buttons there. If you were thinking of making them, you can use those. And I think you need a little tool to put them on as well. But I'll link those down below for you. So I, I really enjoyed that challenge and it's a nice way to use up leftovers, say if you've been making a coat or something like that and, or something in heavy denim um, or corduroy and you've got some chunks, might be fun to have, have a go at that if you are a man or for the man in your life. Right, so that was fairly swift. Um, the second, well the second challenge was a transformation challenge but I won't go into that here. Um, and the third challenge was the made to measure and that was to make a men's utility jacket. Um, I don't think they've made the term utility jacket up, I have heard that one before. Um, and again, a really enjoyable challenge and that is something that I actually could see myself making. And I know I've got a few customers that have made um, men's jackets before as well. So it was... Um, yeah, I just really enjoyed that one and there were some lovely, lovely um, finished garments. In particular, the one that won Garment of the Week, was it Furry? Furry? Furry, I think. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It was just perfect. Um, so I was really pleased for her that she got Garment of the Week there. It was just great. So in terms of patterns, um, best fit I could find for you there was Simplicity 9052 um, and it's a Mimi G style one um, and that is, I think that's Norris isn't it, Mimi's husband who designs a lot of menswear, he has his own menswear pattern line I think. Um, but yeah this is a unisex pattern so men's and ladies, it just runs from XS, extra small to XL um, yeah, Mrs. Men's and Teens. And it has a hood option or just a collar. But you can see that's got the required number of pockets. Um, Patrick said it had to have at least three pockets. So who knew? Yeah, 
nice i like that so that is my pattern suggestion so on to the fabrics if you were thinking of making the hat and you weren't using leftovers you could definitely use a 100 percent wool so i brought this one to show you this is the heather striped wool which is i will link below for you 100 percent wool and it's got a lovely herringbone weave very very nice so that would look nice um you could put any kind of wool with that like the coatings or maybe a boiled wool but i think that would be nice just on its own and the way it would run into the center would be nice as well could maybe play around with the stripe direction there one second i'm just going to grab a roll of lining okay this is the silver paisley satin lining um it's 100 percent polyester but it's got that satin finish um which would be nice and silky for inside your cap so if you put it together put it together with that one i think they would make a nice pairing so that would make a lovely peak on the inside very sort of classic this paisley okay um I think there's quite a bit of crossover with the fabrics between the jacket and the hat as well so probably what i will show you next would work for both or either individually i'm just going to grab another roll this is a big roll this is my 11 and a half ounce denim and as you can see it's quite thick and quite stiff actually it's not thick thick but it is sturdy so this is a good solid denim weight for jackets and jeans um, I recently had a customer that made some beautiful Morgan jeans which are uh, shown on Instagram I think um, yeah and this worked lovely for it so I think you could use this for the hat and for the jacket um, denim is obviously a classic solid workwear fabric but that would make a really nice utility jacket wrestle this to the ground now okay and then with that you could use um, I've got some nice um, denim buttons in stock these are the plain ones I do some with a little laurel wreath on as well and some that say American style but these plain ones would be great with that denim and probably with any of these other fabrics I'm about to show you so, you could also use this camouflage. This is a cotton sateen, so it is quite lightweight, possibly for a utility jacket, or lighter. It's not, it's not as heavy as the denim, but it's not lightweight like a poplin or a lawn or anything like that. It's sort of somewhere in between. So it would make a nice lightweight jacket, but you'd probably want to line it to give it a bit more structure. But I thought it was worth putting in there because it's a nice um, a nice print. And I have had a customer who's made a bomber jacket in this one. Um, Katie made a lovely bomber jacket for her husband and it looked amazing. So I definitely think that that one's worth a mention. I think it has. It might have a tiny bit of stretch, but I might be making that up. No, it doesn't. It's 100% cotton, so it's just a stable one. I also think this would make a nice shirt, or maybe what they call a shacket these days. I'm always really amused by that term. I, I couldn't even tell you why I find it funny, but I do. It just makes me laugh. Anyway. Okay, next up... Um, very similar to what Damien was using. I've got a lovely jumbo card. It's a bit creased there because it's the end of the bolt. But nice soft card array. I don't know why Joe felt sick looking at card. It's probably one of the most classic popular fabrics there are. But there you go. No accounting for taste, is there? Um, but that would make a lovely solid heavy jacket. Um, seen a lot of these sort of char jackets about recently and um, they seem to be very much in, in fashion and the shacket situation so that would work great I've got this in a few colours I think I've got some green and um, 
navy and this nice grey and then I've got some brighter colours in a, a finer card again but that would also work it doesn't have to be the jumbo ribs you can have finer ribs as well so the the eight whale card would make a nice jacket too I get how inspired when I'm filming these I come up with the ideas and then as I'm talking about it I'm kind of talking myself into making it and I don't have time <laughs> okay and final fabric choice to show you is good old cotton twill now this is in navy I'm going to be getting this in some more colours soon but just a very solid utility fabric and um, this is a good bottom weight as well if you wanted to use it for other projects but it'd make a lovely jacket you can see the twill weave 100% cotton and it will wash and press like a dream I think that's everything that I've got to show you today. Um, yeah, I think that's it. It's, uh, I really enjoyed last night's episode. It was just that a little bit different to usual and um, oh, it started to rain. There you go. Yeah, it was really good. Um, I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, today's a bit of a celebration for me today. It is the 29th of April. And my little business, Jenny Stitches, is officially two years old today. So happy birthday, Jenny Stitches. Um, it's been a bit of a journey in the last two years um, from sort of that first day opening the curtains on the market and wondering what might happen. And I will always remember my first sale of a, a bobbin of cotton to a lady and thinking, oh, OK. <laughs> so... So yeah, thank you for everybody who has supported me and come along on this journey with me. I couldn't have done it without you. Um, I might actually film a video at some point having a chat through my sort of small business journey, if you will. If that's something you'd find interesting, let me know in the comments. Um, what else have I got to tell you? And because of uh, that birthday, check out on Instagram and Facebook, I will be posting a a very nice little giveaway that I've put together this morning so keep your eyes peeled for that and how to enter um, and finally in case you're wondering Mandy is wearing um, a dress of mine which I made last year I got my summer clothes out from under the bed this week but it's not really warm enough to wear them yet um, and this is new look 6446 and if you recognize the print it's my Emma uh, cotton and linen blend and it was an absolute dream to work with and looking at this dress again has got me thinking about do I want to make the jumpsuit version this year food for thought so as usual if you enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe if you want to find me over on Facebook and Instagram I will pop in some links here um, but it's been very nice chatting to you and thank you for all your lovely comments Thank you for all the follows. Um, I'm really enjoying YouTube at the moment. So that's um, a great way to sort of chat to you all. And I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it too. So take care. I will see you next week. And I am going to try and film a sewing plans video over the weekend because I've cut a few things and brought them home recently. So I'll stop waffling now and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.